Jacob Santos. Starting at goal with number five, John Goudreau. Starting at goal with number 15, Tyrese Christie. And starting at center, number 30, Colin Doctor. The head coach for the Goudreau is Chris Montemino. the campus of UMass Amherst in Newton, Mass. This is NJCAA Men's Basketball here on LSP. Today it's the Holyoke Cougars with a record of 0-6, 0-4 in Region 21 play. Taking on the Mass Bay Buccaneers with a record of 3-3 three three all games in Region 21 play. Good afternoon, everybody. Sam Feely here with you, ready to bring the play-by-play -play story. Saeed Fasugi is on camera, and this is the right portion of the schedule for Mass Bay to build some confidence going into the winter break because uh, they beat up on a winless UCAP team two nights ago. Now they got a winless Holyoke team in the barn to today. And then and we got a whistle over. We're going to give possession to Mass Bay, it looks like. And then it's Gateway on Tuesday, the cellar dwellers in Region 21. We're going to win back-to-back -back games for the first time this season. It's been alternating losses and wins for the first six for the Bucks. Holyoke, 0-6, oh, I mentioned, entering play today. Here's Segura in the corner for three. Front iron, no good. Tracks out his own rebound, had eight rebounds the other night after averaging one and a half entering play, and he kicks it out to Mason Lawson for the first bucket of the game. 3-0 our score. Mass Bay hoping to avoid a slow start like both they and UCAP got off to the other night before Mass Bay eventually pulled away in the second half. And it'll go into the corner for Tyrese Christie. Uh, looks like uh, Holyoke only dressing seven and they only have eight on their roster to begin with. So uh, thin numbers for Holyoke, much like UCAP the other night. Lithgow with a weak side rebound ahead to Quilter. Denied by the rim, in fact, and the rebound by Christie. Back the other way come the Cougars. A contact there, trying to make his way in with Santos. The rebound by Lithgow. Six straight rebound for Chris Rail. Lithgow into the corner for Quilter. Not close here. It's Quilter. We think. <laughs> Hidalgo told me it was Quilter. Omar. Lithgow, long two. Back iron, no good. Rebound, Santos. And that 
ball go out of bounds. Off of Connor Tobin to the Bucks. Possession arrow after that uh, awkward opening tap will favor the Cougars. And we're going to have a timeout already. And it's called by Mass Bay. Interesting. So, Daryl Hilliard not wasting any time trying to make sure. Aspey doesn't get snake bitten by the turnovers and missed opportunities that uh, that allowed uh, UCAP to stay in the game first. And of course, Mass Bay ended up winning that game by double digits. But Holyoke, uh, it was a safe pass to win for Mass Bay the other night over UCAP. Holyoke coming off a 25-point loss to Bristol on Thursday, and they have lost only one game by single digits this year. That was at Massasoit back on November 17th, much like UCAP did entering play the other night. Down low for Garcia Martinez, driving his loss and kicks it out. Seguera thought about a three, steps inside the arc, now back out to Quilter. Quilter kicks it out again, Lithgow, three, no. Garcia Martinez though with the rebound, puts it up and he gets fouled and go to the line for two. Did he? Or no, is it off the foul? No, I was going to say. Was, I got I to gotta remind myself that I see the Mass Bay jerseys converging over towards Coach Hilliard, over towards the Mass Bay bench. And that's what Hilliard does often during these free throws. He has some players, who, he has the other players come over to him during the bench. And it makes you throw you off and make you think that uh, they're heading the other way to get back on defense, but that's not the case. Garcia Martinez misses the first one. I had a double double the other night. And he sinks the second. Free throws were also a bugaboo for the Bucks the other night, but one of two to start. Four nothing, our score. Here's Tobin, very close to the timeline, now drives from just inside the arc. Awkward looking shot, cleaning up the air ball was Christie, couldn't get it to go. The rebound by Lawson. Lawson drives, yes. Five quick ones for Lawson. Basically a non-factor offensively the other night against UCAP despite being, what, despite being third in the region in field goal percentage entering play uh, that game. And uh, have a foul here. Segura guilty of the foul. That is the his first of the Bucks first of the half. So good to see Lawson with two quick field goals here after the struggles offensively on Thursday night. Santos from just outside the key. No, he traveled. Santos enters play as the Cougars' leading scorer. 21.7 points per game. But nothing home for him or any of the Cougars thus far. 6-0, Bucks on top, three minutes into the first half. Into the corner, now Lithgow will drive the baseline, kick it back out, Segura, three. Side iron, no good, and the rebound tracked down by Colin Doctor. Doctor a screen, Santos didn't use it. Now Christie drives, leans in, and gets it off the glass for the first points of the game for Holyoke. 6-2 our score. Driving, kicked out into the corner, extra pass. Lithgow just inside the arc this time. That is back iron, hits off the top of the backboard, and the rebound collected by Boudreaux. Back the other way come the Cougars. Santos drives, leans, draws the foul. He'll go to the line for two. Foul B on Lawson. That'll be his first and the second on the Bucks. Santos front irons the first free throw. Rims 
comes out, but the second one, he is a 67% uh, free throw shooter on the season. Holyoak has a team 54.5%. Quelter, nice move. Eight to two. Okay, announcer pronounce a quilt here. Ivan pulls a quilter. I, it reads like quilter, so. Anyways, drive by Santos. Able to keep the dribble alive, but misses the layup. The rebound by Garcia Martinez. Back the other way come the Bucks. Uh, just inside the arc. It's good for Lawson. He's got seven. Timeout, Holyoke. Ten to our score with four and a half gone by here in the first half. Uh, by the way, if you want to uh, pick up a, a, any of uh, LSP's merchandise uh, or a DVD of uh, any past LSP video broadcasts, lsp37.creator-spring.com is our store. And um, I know we got to update the uh, LSP hoodie. And apparently, uh, uh, Spring no longer offers that particular product that we that they print the hoodie on. So. Uh, Update that uh, as soon as we can. I know uh, some people were, I know some people back during volleyball season were really into that hoodie, and I appreciate the kind words. And then they told me they couldn't order. I'm like, well, that, that's not right. Well, I'll fix that for you uh, in due time. So, anyways, out of the timeout, 10 2 Mass Bay. In the corner, Santos and Mass Bay not at all letting up with the defense. Look at Lawson. Poking it away from Santos. Santos maintains a dribble. Dribble. Look at Coach Hilliard there on the sideline. Out to Christie. Now Santos again. The Mass Bay bench is loving it. Lean in. Rolls. No, it does not roll home. Quilter with the rebound. Well, that timeout did more good for Mass Bay, it seemed, than Holyoke. Out to Segura. Lawson in the corner. Lithgow out to Segura, thought about three, back to Lithgow, he'll take the three, and make the three! Thirteen two. Imagine this is the kind of game I'm sure Mass Bay fans were expecting the other night against UCAP. It's off to a good start here against Holyoke. Down low for Abrams, turned over to Quilter. Outlet pass for Lithgow, maybe a little too strong, gets the layup off, but it's blocked by Doctor, and now a... Do you have a foul or just out of bounds? Okay, just out of bounds. Saw Doctor with the block and just out, just out of bounds? All right, all right, okay, we just, just gotta, we gotta, gotta get the mop here, gotta, gotta get the, uh, clean, the uh, grounds crew here. All right, so. Doctor with the block, he's, he's a big guy, biggest guy on the on the court right now. Just gotta wipe up uh, the spillage there after Lithgow down along the baseline. After the big block. And it'll be Mass Bay ball underneath the Cougars hoop with 20 to shoot. 14-23 left here in the first half. Doesn't look like any changes for Mass Bay either. I'll get it out to Quilter. Left to his right. Lawson drives the baseline into the corner. Oh, excellent pass by Lithgow to save from out of bounds. And to prevent the travel, unable to get the layup is Quilter, but he draws the foul. Foul will be on Connor Tobin, that's his first, and that'll be foul number two on the Cougars. Filter with two shots. Excellent free throw shooter on, on the season, entering play the other night, struggled for a while. And he front irons that one, he was one of his first six the other night, then finished five of six. Finished 50% on the night. Excellent recovery as the game went on, but you know, when UCAP was still hanging around in the first half, 
Mass Bay really could have used those free throws to try and put it away sooner. So Quilter with his first point of the game, and it is 14 to two. Christie out to Tobin over on the elbow. Santos down low and an excellent look to Eli Abrams for Abrams' first basket of the game and only the second bucket of the game for Holyoke and it is 14 to four. Garcia Martinez from the free throw line, easy game on the assist from Lawson. Garcia Martinez with his first field goal, lead back up to 12, 16 to four, now we got a whistle. Remain with Holyoke. 13.25 to go here in the first half. Into the corner for Abrams. And around to Tobin. Being harassed here by Segura. Now it's back to Christie. Stops the free throw line into the corner for Tobin. Tries to drop it off. Abrams had it poked away from behind and it will be a foul. A shooting foul, no less. Lithgow guilty of the foul is first. Did Abrams even go up in that sequence? I don't think he did. That'll be uh, the third foul on the Bucks. And here comes Hidalgo to check in, as well as Antonio Taylor. Uh, was that Taylor? Uh, no, I don't want to uh, misread. Uh, uh, Lassiter, not Taylor, my mistake. And actually no free throws uh, after all uh, for Abrams. It's just a common foul. Abrams was standing on the on the free throw line. And got the bad news. Here's a three pointer. Front iron, not good. Rebound though by Doctor. Back to the top of the arc for Santos. He'll drive, spin against Lawson. Loses it, excellent defense. Hands up by Hidalgo. Quilter with the steal and the outlet to Sagara. Defense creates offense. 18 for our score. Tobin crosses the timeline, meets a double team right here on the sideline. Now out to Santos. Back to Tobin. Christie, eight to shoot. Abrams puts it on the deck and he stepped on the baseline. It'll be a turnover. 12-18 to go, 18 for our score. And John Pedro uh, was in the game earlier, checked out, now he checks back in. Lawson over to Lasseter, who was a spark off the bench in the first half to ensure that Mass Bay stayed in the lead in the first half. And now here he is from the elbow, and we got a foul. I assume it's gonna be on Abrams. No, it's on Hidalgo. Hidalgo went up for the rebound. I thought Abrams was on him from behind, but tough break there for Hidalgo. He picks up his first foul. And now we got a timeout. And it's a timeout by Holyoke. So 18-4, exactly eight minutes gone by here in the first half. Lawson with seven, three for Garcia Martinez, three for Lithgow, and two for Segar and one for Quilter. Did I count that right? One, four, six, nine, eleven, thirteen. Oh, uh, excuse me, five for Garcia Martinez, not, uh, oh, no, I'll check it out. I'll check it out, don't worry. Uh, and, you know, four points only for uh, for Holyoke at this point. Uh, two by Christie and two by Abrams, that's it. Missed the two by Segura. So it's Quilter with one, Lithgow with three, Segura with two, five for Law, uh, seven for Lawson, and three for Garcia Martinez. As we stand eight minutes into the second, into the first half. 18-4, and uh, basically the entire region is in action today here on this first Saturday of December. Another 
games underway right now are Roxbury at Gateway, Northern Essex, and Springfield later on. Twin Sig at Massasoit, Quincy at CCRI, and Bunker Hill at UCAP. Those last three games all have a three o'clock tip. Santos over to Abrams. And the free throw line, Christie steps inside. Santos, long two, no. Rebound, Quilter. Look at the three rebounds already. Ahead to Lasseter. Can't get the circus layup, but he will go to the line. Fouls on Tobin, and that'll be his second. I was talking about foul management for UCAP the other day with eight players dressed. Only seven. It's going to be more imperative, even more imperative for Holyoke. First free throw rattles out for Lasseter. So free throw woes continuing for Mass Bay. Two of five as a team thus far this game. And they'll stay at 50% as they did entering this one with his trip with Lasseter, making one of two, getting his first point of the game. 19-4. Good defense though by Lawson. On the deck, inside the key, and Hidalgo comes away with it. Back the other way come the Bucks. It'll be Lawson into the corner, three, uh, excuse me, Quilter into the corner for Lawson for three. Lawson with his second three, and the route is on. 22 to four, Mass Bay on top, cross court pass to Boudreau into the corner for Christie. Spot up three, back iron no good, and the rebound went off of Holyoke. Weak side rebound, there were two green jerseys there to one white jersey, and it was off, uh, I believe it was, I believe it was off the Abrams fingertips, and that results in a turnover. And Mass Bay continuing to pour it on as we approach the halfway mark of this first half, 22-4. Lassiter over to Bah, who's in the game for the first time. Now from just inside the key, it's Lawson getting uh, already into double figures with 10. Now he's got 12, and it is 24 to four. 20 point lead here in the first half for Mass Bay. These will be the confidence. These are the games that you want to build your confidence as a team, Mass Bay. Air ball on the three and picking it up off the court before it goes out of bounds is Lawson with the rebound. Here is Quilter, kicked out, Lawson. Drives, floater, front iron, no good, gets his own rebound. Now Quilter, his floater, rattles out, tries to tap it home, no. Who's gonna come up with this rebound? It's gonna be Quilter again. Fresh 20 for Mass Bay. Don't need to rush here. I know you love being up 20 early, but you gotta be smart. Don't give, uh, don't give away any points to Holyoke. Six seconds to shoot now. Lassiter through a couple of defenders. Hidalgo three, front iron no good. And the rebound to Abrams. These are the, like I said earlier, these are the, this is the stretch where Mass Bay can really build their confidence. You know, they had UCAP the other night. Holyoke today, gateway on Tuesday, all at home is Christie draws the rebound, it's gonna go to the line. And fouls on Hidalgo, that's already his second. Fifth foul on the Bucks. Two shots for Christie. And the first one will go. And Antonio Taylor will check in for the first time. Thought he was in earlier, but he's in now. And uh, so Luis Garcia Martinez is back in. So is Lithgow. Front iron, no good on the second free throw. So the teams combine it. Uh, well, uh, excuse me, Holyoke now one of fourth line as a team. Here is an excellent layup. After the move by Garcia Martinez, and he is up to five points with that his second field goal, 26 to five. Boudreau, now to Tobin. Defense here by Ba. Now to Christie. Just 
outside the key, now moving in, off the glass, no good, and the rebound is tied up. Possession will favor Holyoke, but, it's only, but and since the rebound did, did not hit, the shot did not hit the rim, or hit the glass, will only be five seconds for Holyoke to shoot. In the corner, spot up three, but drove, front iron no good, out of bounds will remain with Holyoke. 8.36 to go in the first half. Christie with three and Abrams with two. That's all the scoring for Holyoke. Lawson already into double figures for Mass Bay. He's got 12. Tobin. Drives, kicks it out. Is that going to go out of bounds? Nope. Dro saves it, but then it's poked out of bounds. It'll remain again with Holyoke, though, after the some defense by Bob Force the Cougars to reset. Again, with only nine to shoot in the backcourt, no less. Santos along the sideline, and you got a whistle and a foul. And that'll be on Lithgow, and that'll be his second. So two Buccaneers already with six, uh, with two fouls, and the Bucks is a team up to six. Lithgow will sit down, Segarra will come back in. Lithgow City with three points, two rebounds, and now two fouls. Hidalgo only had one steal before, uh, before he picked up his second foul. Three ball, back iron, no good, and the rebound by Segarra. He's getting tied up here. Possession arrow would favor Mass Bay, but he's able to keep it alive, preserve the possession arrow. Now the leaner rolls home for Lassiter. Twenty-eight to five. Tobin into the corner. Bedreau loses the handle. Gets it back though. Back to Tobin. He's playing with two fouls too. Seven forty to go here in the first half. Head fake unsuccessful. Out to Christie, and that's out of bounds. Remains with the Cougars. This is excellent defense by the Bucks. Cougars retain possession with only six to shoot. And uh, Doctor's back in. Leron Perez is also checking for the first time here for the Cougars. Six seconds to shoot. Perez will trigger the inbound. In front of the Mass Bay bench, look at Ba jumping around. Driving the baseline, it'll roll home for Jacob Santos. 28 to seven. Mass Bay in front. Ba finds a little bit of space, but Santos stays with him. Garcia Martinez drives, had his shot altered, got his own rebound, and then it's a trap. Uh, is a well, the referee's going to signal a travel. It's a, it's a foul on Holyoke. Fouls on Christie, that's his first, only the fourth on Holyoke. Here is Lassiter, loses the handle trying to go up, and it's gonna stay with Mass Bay. I guess Doctor got a piece of that. All on Lassiter, losing himself running into Doctor, but we'll go out to Lassiter for three. Back iron, no good. Collect the rebound, it's on the deck, and it's gonna be Lassiter. Down low for Garcia Martinez. Thirty to seven, Mass Bay already matching their first half output from the UCAP game. Boudreau. Suffocating defense, I tell you. Perez's pass is deflected, stolen by Taylor. Outlet to Lassiter. Oh, I wanted him to dunk it so bad, but Lassiter gets another bucket. Oh, what a what a force he is off the bench. Side iron, no good on the three, and Segarra has suddenly turned into Dennis Rodman on the glass. Out to Boss, swing it around. Taylor wanted it, and he gave it up though. Segarra kicks it out. The drive, 
Now to Garcia Martinez, picks up the dribble. Lassiter, nine to shoot. Segura drives the baseline, wanted to kick it out to the opposite corner, and they got to put it up quickly. Bond gave it up a little too unselfish, and it's going to be a shot clock violation. Bob might have had a little bit of space to make a running shot there, but gave it up, thought there was a better look, but couldn't get it off in time. And one of the rare mistakes today for Holyoke. Uh, excuse me, rare mistake for Matt Spay. Holyoke. Down 25 here as so we approach five minutes to go. Nice look to Doctor for his first field goal on the second assist of the game from Santos, 32 to nine now. Garcia Martinez out to Segura, kicks it out. Here's a spot up three by Lawson, no. Rebound not controlled though. Welter, yes. Thirty-four to nine. Less than five minutes left in the first half. A first half that has been all Mass Bay. Maybe to be expected, but still, gotta love this performance if you're a Buccaneers fan. Out to Boudreau into the corner. Santos drives against Lawson. Turns around just outside the key back iron in the rebound by Lawson. In cross court pass, Quilter spot up three, back iron, and then out of bounds. Abrams checking back in for Holyoke, and he will replace Christie. Christie, three points. Abrams, Doctor, and Santos each with two for Holyoke thus far. Approach four minutes to go here in the first half. Santos has been trying to do it all right now. Only has two points, two assists, a rebound, and is 0 of 2 at the free throw line, and that was off of Segura, so it'll remain with Holyoke. Segura had a lane. If he could have picked that off cleanly, and if he hadn't touched it at all, it would have been Mass Bay ball. It stays with the Cougars, 15 to shoot here in the front court. Santos for three. Sinks it. Santos now with five, first Cougar with multiple field goals today. 34-12 as we approach three and a half to go. Crossing the timeline, Lawson at the free throw line, Taylor back out to Lawson. Stutter steps, makes his man miss, lays it up and in. Just the slightest bit of hesitation. Gave him the space for the layup and then he picks off the pass and jumps it off for Segura for the layup. Back the other way and Abrams is gonna go to the line for two. Fouls on Garcia Martinez, that is his first and that'll be foul number seven on the Bucks. so one and one the rest of the first half for Holyoke. Two shots now for Abrams. And he front irons that one. LSP's next broadcast Tuesday evening at 6.55 p.m. with the Mass Bay Buccaneers host the Gateway Lions in NJCAA Region 21 men's basketball action. Watch the game live or on demand here on the LSP YouTube channel. Rebound by Garcia Martinez after the second free throw is missed. There goes Lawson again. <laughs> Forty now for the Bucks here in the first half, up 28. Less than three minutes to go. Ball on the deck. Oh, it's going to be a foul. Be on Segura or was it on uh, Lawson? Well, it's on Mass. And it's on uh, Lawson. That'll be his second. Eighth foul on the Bucks. This will result in a one and one for 
Santos for Holyoke, who was 0 for 2 on his first trip. Cougars have only made one free throw thus far. That was Christie in his only trip. First free throw, the one and one for Santos. And that rims out. The free throw woes continue for the Cougars. Garcia Martinez with another rebound, brings it across the timeline. 2.40 to go. Ba holding the ball here in that circle with the old Mount Ida logo on it. Taylor, he'll go to the line. That was on Abrams. First foul on Abrams, fifth on the Cougars. Two free throws now for Taylor. Taylor was out of action the other night, but sinks that one. And we got a whistle and we got a lane violation. And that'll give possession to Holyoke. It'll all go back in the game to replace Garcia Martinez. 41 12 with 2.31 to go here in the first half. Excellent defense by Quilter. Suffocating Pedro, loss of dribble, but retains possession. Quilter steals it. Ahead to Bob, back to Quilter, yes, and one! Co <laughs> Connor Tobin with his third foul. Oh. Uh, well, the, uh, I was on Doctor, okay, uh, not Tobin, excuse me. Doctor on the foul and a chance of three point play for Butler, uh, for Quilter rather, and he converts. 44 to 12. Oh, look at Ba out of nowhere! Into the corner, Segura. Oh, you know the crowd would have gone wild for that. Over to Taylor. Thought about it. Settle it down. Maybe fakes the pass. Now goes down low. Kicked out. Bob. Intercepted that pass. I guess it was a different zone teammate. Quilter into the corner. Taylor. Long two. Front iron. No good. Bob out of nowhere again with the rebound. Bob sneaky. These last couple of possessions. The assist. A steal. A rebound. That's we're in with a basket, shall we? No. <laughs> Abrams with the rebound. Less than 90 seconds left in the first half, swatted away by Quilter. Ba backs it up towards the timeline. Directing traffic here. One minute to go. Six to shoot. Hidalgo, does he see it? He'll take the three. Front iron, no good. Santos with his second rebound. Now a, wh a whistle, we got a foul behind the play, and that's on Welter, I believe. It is ninth foul now on the Bucks. For Quilter, that is his only his first. Well, some more substitutions for Mass Band. That's 46.9 seconds. Brandon Andahar is in the game now. And uh, this will be a one and one for Santos. Santos makes the first free throw. And his first out of three att uh, of now four attempts. And he's got one more shot. And he sinks them both. So the first two of two trip at the line for the Cougars today. 44-14, Mass Bay on top. Next foul will put, uh, put Holyoke in the double bonus. Down low for Dalgo, tapped around, stays with the Bucks. 16 to shoot, 32.1 left in the half. And a har. 
three. Air ball on the weak side, overshot the rim entirely. Taylor got the rebound, couldn't get the stick back though. And the rebound by Abrams, chance for the last shot here for Holyoke. Abrams, excuse me, uh, Santos with the leaner. He'll go to the line for two more. Nine to go. Santos guilty of the foul. Fouls on uh, Santos to the line. Uh, Ba guilty of the foul. First free throw is good for Santos. 44-15. Santos has made his last four, four free throws and has nine of Holyoke 16. Six seconds left, Eurostep swatted by guess who, Santos. And, but a travel on Holyoke will give Mass Bay a chance again for the last shot with 3.4 to go. Out to Hidalgo, steps behind the arc for three, front iron no good, and the heart couldn't tip it in. And we go to halftime, Mass Bay up 44-16. Eighteen of Mass Bay's forty-four for Mason Lawson. Uh, Sixteen, rather, of uh, the forty-four for Mason Lawson, and uh, nine San makes Santos Holyoke's leading score. We'll take a time that timeout back in about fourteen minutes for the second half from the Mount Ida campus of UMass Amherst in Newton, Mass. With your score, the Mass Bay Buccaneers forty-four, the Holyoke Cougars sixteen. This is NJCAA. Men's basketball on LSP.
Welcome back to the second half of NJCAA Men's Basketball and LSP. Sam Feely here with you from the Mount Ida campus of UMass Amherst. And Newton Mass is the Mass State Buccaneers on top of the Holyoke Cougars 44-16. I had Mason Lawson with 16 in the first half. Mason Lawson had Mason Lawson with 16 in the first half. Apparently the official score gave one of his buckets to Ibrahim Ba and the other to Luis Garcia Martinez. But regardless, 44-16. Tomato, tomato. It is certainly a much better offensive output than he had in the game Thursday against UCAP, which he only had three points, including one field goal. So, loss of leading all scores. Uh, Garcia Martinez now officially with seven points and eight points for Omar Quilter. Uh, it is Jacob Santos leading the Cougars with nine points. And nobody else has more than three for the Cougars. Christie with three, Abrams with two, and Doctor with two. Mass Bay looking to win back-to-back -back games for the first time this season. Like I said, in the Open, they have uh, alternated wins and losses. Uh, well, more likely, losses and wins through the first six games. Back-to-back, -back, well, they can hold on here. Back-to-back -back wins, put them above 500 for the first time, in fact this season and also uh, gives some momentum going into that game against uh, Gateway on Tuesday. Another cellar dwelling team in uh, Region 21. It's, uh, it's Gateway, Holyoke, and UCAP. Three straight games. Uh, three teams who are winless in Region 21 play entering play. Gateway is the only one of those teams with a win anywhere. Foul as we get the second half underway and Luis Garcia Martinez is going to go to the line for two. I'll be foul number three on Colin Doctor. And number one of the half on the Cougars. And the first free throw is good. For Garcia Martinez, who was oh, uh, one for two at the line in the first half. One for two. The second half, too, nearly stolen from behind. Both Quilter and Ba have been very sneaky on the defense, especially in the later stage of that uh, first half. But that is now stolen. Oh, when it was almost there for Lithgow. Quilter gets it back in one. You talk about sneaky. 47-16, and Holyoke's gonna call a timeout. Boy. Almost had it taken away the first time, definitely had it taken away the second time. I'm sure Lithgow would have liked to get a second field goal. We'll take the steal, and Quilter with the rebound and the assist, and Quilter now officially up to 10 points on the second. Buccaneer in double digits. 47-16, he fouls on Christie, that's his second. So Quilter will go to the line to complete the three-point the three play. Mass Bay leading by 31. And he sinks it. 32 point lead. The Bucks now tripling up on Holyoke. 48 16, and they are not letting up. Look at Seguera pursuing Pedro as he tries to cross the timeline. Hands off to Santos with Lawson right in his grill. Santos dribbled it off his foot. Here's Pedro. Lances straight down off the three point attempt. Rebound by Lithgow. Lithgow. Stutter steps, backs out, here's, uh, nope. Brought about three, now drives, has his shot blocked, it's on the deck, and this will <laughs> be stolen by Quilter after all that. But then it's stolen back by Christie. Boy, Helter Skelter, I tell you. Now I got a whistle. Yeah. 
Lithgow there. That'll be his third foul. Taylor back into the game for the Bucks. Had a quadruple single in the first half. One point, one rebound, one assist, and one steal. Layup, not close, not there. Rebound by Taylor. Oh, there goes your quadruple single, man. And Segura cans the three. 51, 16. Throw, no. Rebound, Garcia Martinez. Lawson, all the way to the cup. And another timeout by Holyoke. 156 into the second half, and Holyoke's already called two more timeouts, and they are down to two. Get in touch with us uh, and follow support us on the web, but it's uh, LSP37 on PayPal, Creator Spring, Ko-Fi, and Facebook. And uh, if you want to contact us uh, to have us broadcast or otherwise work your next game, sports game, gaming term, wedding, concert title, meeting, play, other event, get in touch with us here at uh, LSP. We are the live event specialists serving greater Boston student athletes and beyond for over a decade. And, I mean, what more can you say about the Bucks thus far? 16, holding Holyoke to 16 in the first half. And now out to a 9 nothing run to start the second half. Holyoke's season low entering play is 54. That was in the second game of the season against Springfield, but... They scored 27 in each half in that game. Not on a good pace right now. They gotta find something in. They're down 37 with 18 minutes to go. Air ball. Now some friendly fire trying to trail the rebound. It ends up being Luis Garcia Martinez. Almost a travel there by Segura. Uh, and I think they, they didn't get Segura, but I think they got Wilter on, uh, on the uh, on the green paint there, so that'll be a turnover regardless. That one should have been Segura. A little bit of a shuffle there, bringing it up court. Santos across the timeline. Drives. Lawson right on his hip, he takes it away. Lawson has the poke away from behind, keeps possession though, and gets the two. Almost stolen again. They are able to get it into Christie from the free throw line. And finally, Holyoke is on the board here in the second half. 55-18, Quilter, he's feeling it. Yes, sir. Fifty-seven, eighteen. out to Tobin. Get another time out. Oh, wow. That doctor, he would have coming up to get that pass from Tobin, but then just went away from that spot for just a moment. It'll be a turnover. Three and a half now gone by in the second half. Oh, it feels like everything's been falling for Mass Bay, but not that as Christie picks up the rebound after. Lawson could not get the layup. Pedro, Christie, out to Tobin, three, yes. Tobin with his first points of the game. 
Four minutes gone by in the first half. Seguera out into the corner for Quilter. Stops just outside the key, tries to put it down low for Garcia Martinez. Lost it in his feet. Able to get the rebound though is Taylor. Can he keep possession for the Bucks? Uh, went out of bounds and it looks like he's gonna stay with the Bucks with a full, oh, well, quote unquote full. 19 to shoot, you know, reset to 20 now off a missed shot on an offensive rebound out to Garcia Martinez. We'll love to see him attempt a three in this kind of situation. Or you can just go to Seguera. 60 to 21, and now we got a foul. Foul, he really didn't need to commit. Taylor, I mean, I know you're up 39 and everything, but and I know you want to, you know, keep up the intensity and you know, send a message to the rest of the region, but silly fouls like that are what allow major comebacks to happen. Shot blocked by Taylor, comes out to Santos, and one. Garcia Martinez, I believe. It is. It'll be second foul. And it'll be a free throw for Santos. Complete the three point play out of this timeout. As Santos is now into double figures. So, third foul of the half on Mass Bay. Go back, look at Mass Bay's schedule. I mean, I know if you look on the uh, Region Play One website, it says they beat. CCRI 95 to nothing. That is obviously incorrect. <laughs> you saw that game here on LSP. And that's why reason didn't update, didn't add CCRI's score. But you look at the teams that Mass Bay has beaten. CCRI, UCAP, assumedly Holyoke. You know, these are the teams that are towards the bottom of the Region 21 standing. CCRI is one and four in Region 21 play. Three and five overall. You can beat UCAP, you're beating up on Holyoke. You have Gateway on Tuesday. Santos makes the free throw to complete the three point play. And the score is now 62 24. 36 point lead for the Bucks. It's approach 15 minutes to go. Here is Lawson. I'll finish my thought on Mass Bay's schedule in a little bit. That shot is no good. Boutreau with the rebound. Only one rebound is only. Appearance on the stat sheet in the first half. Santos. Segura guarding him. Leans in. Rims out. Rebound by Taylor. The outlet to Quilter. Why not? out to Christie. Top of the arc, three. Back iron, no good. Rebound falls right in the left. Tobin kicked back out. Santos, three, no. And an excellent balance by Taylor to come up with that rebound. Oscar will come right back to Santos. Foul on that layup. And Santos. Oh, uh, they got Doctor, uh, not Santos. Excuse me. I only saw a three, but it was in fact 30, not three. And that is foul number four, by the way, on Doctor. And first free throw good for Taylor. Was only had one point in the first half. That was on a one of two free throw trip. Picks up his second point. And the Bucks leading by 40, 64-24. And they're still not letting up with full court press. I love it. So, like I say, the Bucks beat CCRI. They're three and five, one four region play and one play. Beat UCAP, they're winless. Beat Holyoke, they're winless. That shot rims out. Rebound bounces around, unable to secure it initially. 
was lost and he did eventually pick it up. Kicks it in the corner for Lithgow. No, Quilter out of nowhere to try and secure the rebound. He could not. Boudreau gets the rebound. It's his third. Extra pass and uh, out of bounds to Mass Bay. The other team that Mass Bay has beat, traditional Region 21 power Bunker Hill. 73-66, that was a home game here. Bunker Hill, I mean, they, you know, they've had some great talent in the years past. They're, you know, I wouldn't say they're having a down year, but they're only one game above 500 in both Region 21. And overall play, Hidalgo tries to get the rebound, the stick back, he cannot. Santos with the rebound, outlet to Boudreau, can't get the free, uh, can't get the rebound, can't get his first, uh, can't get the shot, get the rebound or his first point of the game. Hidalgo with the rebound, and now it's a three for Taylor. Sixty-seven, twenty-four. Taylor, five points this half after only one in the first half. Santos, down low for Abrams. So Abrams with his second field goal, he's now got four. Pass a little too strong, goes out of bounds to Holyoke. So Bunker Hill, four and three, and Mass Bay wins here. They'll be even in the standings with Bunker Hill pending the result of the Bulldogs game today. And they, uh, they are at UCAP, that's a three o'clock tip. Right now everyone looking up at Northern Essex and Roxbury. So, Bounds. Quinsig. Quinsig beat Mass Bay by 19 in Worcester. Rebound swatted away from Abrams and then picked up by Ba into the corner. Air ball. Tobin still can't get one home. And it'll be a traveling violation on Hidalgo. He's basically dragging Tobin with him. He's trying to come away with the ball. Quinsig beat Mass Bay by 19 uh, in Worcester. Quinsig's 5 and 2, 6 and 2 overall. Northern Essex. Say everyone's looking up at Northern Athens right now, six and zero in, con in in the region. A steal transition opportunity for Ba for his first points of the game. And Lassiter again helping out there. 69-26. And that'll be a foul on Lithgow. And that's going to be foul number four on Lithgow. Two free throws now for Jacob Santos. Santos up to 13. Segura back in the game for Lithgow. Second one's good. So Santos started the game 0 of 3 at the line and since made his last seven. Nine twenty-eight. Taylor. Head fakes down low. Extra pass. Segura three. Front iron no good. Rebound. Poked out of the hands of Christie from behind by Segura. Holyoke retains possession, however. Roxbury should be an interesting game. They're 5 0 and undefeated overall, 7 0. Pass 
Pass down low, reach in foul on Segura. Only second. That'd be 15th foul on Mass Bay. Mass Bay doesn't see Roxbury until December 13th. That is a road game, though. Santos continuing to provide vital signs for the Holyoke offense. And getting through the defense down low, Taylor with another deuce. Seven now here in the second half, up to eight. Tobin with his second field goal. He's now got five. Spot up three. Bah! Glances off the front iron. Turned over, though. The Olio Cougars get it back. Our staff in a foul. Golden free throws for Tobin. That'll be foul number three on Hidalgo. Foul number six on the Bucks for the half. And we're gonna have a timeout. And time will be called by Mass Bay. Seventy-one thirty-two. Nine thirty-four to go here in the second half. Mass Bay has Holyoke uh, now. They have Gateway on Tuesday here at Mount Ida. Thursday, they're at Springfield Tech. Springfield Tech entering play at 3-4 and four on the season. All of their games also in Region 21 play, like Mass Bay to this point. And then uh, they'll have Massasoit to close out the home schedule for this semester a week from today. And Roxbury and Bristol to finish up 2022 and then they're back in action in the new year on Saturday, January 7th. They're at Great Bay Community College and then at Southern Maine the following Saturday, the 7th and 14th. Resume Region 21 play on the 19th of January at Massasoit and then they host Quinsig on Saturday, January 21st. So after this, so after the whole, uh, the gateway game, they play three, Of their, of their next 10 games, is that free throw is good. Their next 10 games, only two of them are at home. And those two are more than a month apart. Back iron no good on the second free throw. Just coming away with it. And Ba with the layup. Spot up three, Santos, no. Weak side rebound, Hidalgo. Hidalgo doesn't have any points yet. Give him a bucket, come on. Playing catch here. Ba down low, outside the lane. Shot altered, able to get his own rebound though is Lassiter and he sticks it home. 75-33. And now a steal. Segura in the corner. Thought, he, thought about three to Taylor. Now goes to the cup, and he lays it in. We think. Make sure they're not waving it off or anything. Only got a timeout by Holyoke, that much we know. It is good, it's a 44 point lead, 77 
33 with 8.35 to go. My Super Bowl is also going on this weekend. Uh, one of the officials asked me to score the Springfield uh, Springfield Central game against. I believe they're playing St. John's Prep. Uh, let me check that right now. Another steal for Segura. Boy, it was rebounds the other her day. Now it's steals. Leaner. Last we get the rebound, he can. Drives outside the lane, a little short. Segura with the rebound into the corner. Here's a three by Taylor. Eighty to thirty-three. Santos drives and he drew the foul. Santos will go back to the line. We got Segura there. Oh, so Taylor. Only the second foul on Taylor, but Holyoke now in the one and one. Could be a should be a two shot foul anyways, and now we got the cleanup crew. Read the Math Bay players if that would work. <laughs> All right, so Santos to the line for two shots. Well, credit to Santos. Team's leading scorer entering play. He has now made nine free throws in a row after starting over for three. Hidalgo. Nope. And back off to Hidalgo. Oh, come on. He needs that. He's been playing so well. Doesn't have a bucket yet. Taylor, what a half he's had. Double figures in the second half alone for Taylor. And Lassiter with the triple to make it 83-35. Santos inside the arc, drops it off. Christy, no. Rebound by Lassiter, all the way to the cup and in! It's now a 50 point lead. Second foul on Abrams. Santos almost a lane violation, did the Superman pose, a little Naruto run, uh, maybe, to uh, try and uh, stay back. But he made the free, th free throw anyway, he did Lassiter, 86-35. And I love it, Mass Bay, the defense not letting up still. Santos does get the bucket, but 
still a 49-point lead, 86-37, as we are under six and a half to go. Down low, Garcia Martinez ran right into Santos. He's a little shaken up behind the play. Tobin got the ball, now, and now the referee down here on uh, the other end, a little slow, uh, 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 blew the whistle so Santos could get looked at. I got his bell rung a little bit. I got pushed in the jaw or something. I don't know. I'm hunting it inadvertently, but uh, it's going to come off for a little bit. And uh, looks like Pedro's coming back on. So after all that, reset the play. And we're going to have uh, 25 seconds on the shot clock. 6:17 left in the second half. 86-37. Off the inbound pass, steal by Segura. Can he go all the way to the cup? No, but he gets fouled. Segura now with four steals here in the half. And later on Perez for that foul. And Segura. With the free throw, get the lead back up to an even 50. Mm -hmm. 88-37, 51 point lead, and another steal, and Garcia Martinez can't convert though. In the corner for Tobin. Spot up three, highly contested. Air ball. Ball with the rebound. Drops it off. And Lassiter will go to the line for two more. And Jack Randlett's going to check in. Get Pedro with the foul, looks like. Two free throws for Lassiter. Back on the first one, and here it comes. Jack Randlett was sporting uh, the mullet and the full Kenny Powers, you know, cosplay kit. <laughs> Most of the season, he's, uh, he's scaled it back a little bit, but here he is with the, uh, in the game for the first time. Both free throws missed. Abrams with the rebound. And a travel by Boudreaux, who is still scoreless. Spot up three, side iron, no good. Who's gonna track down the rebound? Hidalgo gets it, no! Randlett, though, with a rebound, but he traveled. <laughs> Inbound pass off of Tobin's hands. Falls to Abrams, can't get it to go. Perez taps it out to Christie. Drive back out to Christie. He'll drive from just outside the lane and in. 88-39. Ball with another two. Ninety to thirty-nine. Hidalgo swats that pass away. It's picked up by Andahar. Slows down in front of his coach, Hilliard. Ba gets away, has a little bit of space and sinks it. Poked out of bounds by Ba. It'll remain with Holyoke. Ah. 
Abrams fouled from behind by Andahar. They got a doggo on that one? Wow, okay. Now that's a doggo's fourth, and a doggo was a huge factor in the win yesterday, uh, excuse me, Thursday for the Bucks. And now with four fouls, still no points. I had one steal in the first half in addition to two fouls. Both free throws good for Abrams. Now has six points on the game. I'm sure they're going to keep a doll go in. I'm sure he can at least get a bucket here. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what? Randlett stepped back and then Ball went out of bounds. It's gonna remain with Mass Bay and put him back his own teammates or just giving him giving him trouble or something. I don't know. 344 to go. Of the players who have uh, entered the game thus far for Mass Bay, it's only Andahar, Randlett, and Hidalgo who haven't scored. Mass Bay possession into Hidalgo. Oh, and he slips. Is he hurt is the question. Now he's back into the play, that's good, but it'll be a turnover. Three and a half to go. Pedro, nothing. Rebound by Lithgow. Lithgow, and now we got a whistle. No good. Tapped out of bounds by Holyoke. It'll remain with Mass Bay. Don't trip the power cord, please. <laughs> On the baseline will be Ba. 20 seconds to shoot. Randlett. He's going to put it up in the first opportunity he gets. He gets one. With Gao, loses the handle. But it will remain with Mass Bay. 3.06 to go, 12 on the shot clock. Out to Hidalgo, over to Lithgow, three ball, no. Randlett gets the rebound. Out to Lithgow, Hidalgo, oh, got crashed into by Tobin, but. Nadalgo got, Nadalgo's a brick house and he will go to the line. This will be a one and one. That's number three on Tobin. No, oh. Wanted Nadalgo to score so bad there, but he didn't get it. The rebound by Christie ahead for the and one for Leron Perez. Rebound after Perez missed 
free throw he got his own, and now it's tied up here along the baseline, and as it went out of bounds, will stay with Holyoke. 92-43, under three minutes to go. Holyoke now in the double bonus on the next Mass Bay foul. Spot up three in the corner, just glanced off the iron. Rebound by Hidalgo, and he got fouled, or was he did, yeah, by Perez. So one and one now for Andahar. Andahar's first point of the game. Now I just need to get Randlett and Hidalgo on the scoreboard. Second free throw on this one and one. For Brandon Andahar, side iron no good, but the rebound lost out of bounds by Abrams. So, ball stay down here for Mass Bay, up 50 again, 93-43. Now to Randlett. Hidalgo. Ah, side iron no good, but rebound falls right to Ba. Ba, worked on by Perez. Trying to find some space. Randlett's over there on the right elbow, now he sets a screener. Now over. To Lithgow. Lithgow deep three. Front iron no good. And Christie with the rebound. As we're under two minutes to go. Too strong a pass up court. Go to the Bucks. Right now the only starter on the court right now is Lithgow along with Ba, Randlett, and Duhar, and Hidalgo. Dalgo back to Ba. Andahar's got one point, so wait, we we'll need to get some buckets for a bucket at least for both the Dalgo and Randlett. Is this Hidalgo's the time to shine? It is. Ninety-five, forty-three. Out to Christie, and he gets fouled. Second foul on Andujar. Two shots for Christie. He makes the first one. Christie after three points in the first half. Five. More here in the second half. And it'll stay that way as he has now eight for the game. 93, 95 rather, 44. And Duhar. Here's Randlett. No, back iron. And the rebound to Abrams as we're about to hit one minute to go. Now it's just Randlett who needs to get on the scoreboard. Front iron, no good. Rebound comes right to Abrams for the stick back. 95 46. Got by one. Opening there for Randlett. Right, might be the last possession for Mass Bay. Now let Ba go to the cup. Ten here in the second half for Bacher. No points at all in the first half. Three ball is good. Now, if Randall could get a three here, give Mass Bay 100. All right, I'm just going to dribble it out. <laughs> All right, Bob's going to dribble it out, and that's going to do it. 
Mass Bay 97, Holyoke 49. Mass Bay puts up the, a, a new season high in points, eclipsing the 95 they hung on CCRI back on November 17th. 97-49, the final score. Player of the game, well, Bruce Hacker of the Lexington Blue Sox would say everybody. Total team effort. <laughs> I mean, uh, I feel like Lawson should have 20 points. Uh, I had him at 16, the official score had 12 for him in the first half, and, and Lawson got four more in the second half, so I'll give him 20. Uh, Luis Garcia Martinez uh, only had that one free throw in the uh, second half. His only point, but uh, Lawson with 20 by my count. And big second halves, a uh, big second half for Ba and uh, Antonio Taylor, especially. Taylor only had one point in the first half and finishes the second half. Tacking on uh, 12 more for 13 total. Jacob Santos, you saw why he is Holyoke's leading scorer. Uh, finished the game making nine consecutive free throws after starting the game 0 for 3, 9 for 12 overall. And uh, ends up with 9, 11, 12, 14, 16. Yeah, he ends up with another 20 as well, but uh, Mass Bay above 500 for the first time this season, win consecutive games for the first time this season. They're four and three, and Holyoke, they have fallen to 0 and seven overall and 0 and five in region 21 play. So with that said, this has been a presentation of local sports production serving greater Boston student athletes and beyond for over a decade. Copyright 2022, unauthorized redistribution. Main portion of this broadcast that the express written permission of LSP is strictly prohibited. A reminder, our next broadcast, Tuesday night, 6.55 p.m., Mass Bay hosts Gateway and more NJCAA Region 21 men's basketball action. You can watch the game live and on demand on the LSP YouTube channel. Of course, uh, support LSP on the web. Uh, it's PayPal, Ko-Fi, Greater Spring, LSP 37. And uh, once again, the final score from the Mount Ida campus at UMass Amherst in Newton Mass, it is the Mass Bay Buccaneers 97 and the Holyoke Cougars 49 for Saeed Vesugi on camera. My name is Sam Feeler, reminding you as always, freelance isn't free. Thanks for tuning in. Fresh for 2022, suckas.